Can I salute at the castle to mark her last day, the Queen's 96th birthday? Oh, the Queen's right. 96th birthday today. Right. We were wondering, like, uh, there's yeah, loads so and loads of army people, plus there's private security everywhere. Yeah. Um, and we've been wondering why. And there's a private security over there. I wonder if you can, can see them standing with the, that car parking space as if they're waiting someday. So we don't know. Maybe it's Nicola Sturgeon. Maybe. But there's something. Anyway, we had our, we had our sandwiches. They were beautiful. They well, had, they weren't as good as the salmon, but the cakes were great. I the wait I can season talk to you. Um what time's the gun salute? Uh, twelve. Alright, well you'll be away by then. Um go for girl the they never had any soup and then I said, Can I get a toasty? They never had any toasties and then Sophie says, What have you got? And she says, The sandwiches in the fridge. Mm -hmm. But I never had my glasses with me. So I just picked what I thought was tuna salad, but it was tuna salad and rocket. I don't really like rocket. But I, and there was no scones either, but I had a lovely bit of carrot cake. The carrot cake was excellent. And I had a latte. And so we had the same sandwich and a chocolate brownie and a can of um, juice. Green Rose, thank you so much for our lunch. We loved it. Thank you so much. I've actually took a wee video that I'll put on the channel when I go home. I was sitting there and, and show you our sandwiches. And it was like, we couldn't get a signal at all because it, like it was like a dungeon. It was like a dungeon. It was we were like a stable. It was like a, I like think the it was. Is it stable? I think so. It looked like a dungeon to me. But anyway, that's where we were. We were in the dungeon, eating our, our tuna sandwiches. That cake was so good. <laughs> the cake was excellent. You know, Thank my you, Green Rose. My stomach started hurting, but I had to eat it. I know. It was so good. It was Green Rose. It got. It's it? better now, though. My stomach. Uh, but there's loads and loads of security all kicking about. I'll turn you around and you can see. Look, there's a guy with a big sword. Oh, aye, look Who at the hell's that? that? I don't know, is that? That's, that's some royal? Prince Andrew. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's some kind of guy, isn't it? That's a royal family member. Jeez. There we go, live royal family member. And who is it? I don't know who it is. I can't even get a fucking thing. It's Prince Charles. Oh my God, it's, it's Prince, Prince Charles. Charles. <laughs> Guys, it's Prince Charles. What the fuck? No, it isn't, Mum. No, it isn't. Who is that? Who is it? It's somebody though. Guys! It looks like Prince Charles. Who is it? It's a member of the royal family. It can't be. They've not got all the security. Well, they have. Really, they've got quite a lot of security. It can't be. Who is that? My God! <laughs> <laughs> Did you make it that, eh? I don't know who it was. I'm trying to, but I don't know who the hell it was. It's not Prince Charles. It looked like Prince Charles. Can it be? It definitely looked like Prince Charles to me. It looked like Prince Charles, and that looks like his uh, entourage. How did I find out? I'm on a Twitter that doesn't say anything about a royal. See, they don't announce things like that, Hen. Neither the day until after the fact. Right. So that if anybody was wanting to do anything bad to them, they wouldn't know where they were. That was bloody Prince and Charles. Was, uh, that would have been Camilla and it wasn't Camilla. It wasn't Camilla, but it was Prince Charles. With his big sword. There you go, members of the royal family. Here, did you make it that on my channel? No, because he wouldn't be dressed like that. Mum would <laughs> be dressed in, he would just be dressed in a suit. No, but, he was... Uh, no, it wouldn't be because, look, they visited no long ago and they were in just their normal... I know, but they're going to be doing a gun salute. So he's probably got his gear on. No. It's not Prince Charles. Well, I've got it on film. If anybody can zoom in his face and find out who that is, because that's not a normal person. That's somebody famous right there. And we, we got a front row seat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make that, Soph? Uh, hey, I'm going to look at the guy with the sword. <laughs> what do you mean? Right. <laughs> Hold on. Future engagements, the royal family. Hold on. Right, let's see. It's definitely not one of the royal family. As it is. Because we were wondering how there was so much security and so many army guys, like loads and loads, and there's another security dude. They're everywhere, they're all over the place, and that's no normal. Mm. 
Security everywhere. No, it's none of them. It's none of the royals. Where are they? Where are they? It's a, it's a duke or something. It's a. Aye, something. Something that's. It's uh, an admiral. Or, it's a. It's a member of the royal family. I don't know that. Um, it's not a member of the royal family because it's not in their engagement. I know, but it might be one of no, the other they ones, like Edward or something. No, like it's all of them. They've even got like the Duke of Gloucester and the Princess oh. Royal the, and Ories. Have you have you think it's still in Castle and seen yeah, the Yeah, but they've not had anything either. Right, anyway. And I don't know how to get home, so... Listen, we'll try. We'll try and get home. Uh, we're going to Mandy's. Are we? Aye. I say to her, I would come down. We need to see the angel cake. That's true. We need to see the wee angel. Right, well, I don't know who it was, but we'll find Imagine out. Imagine that, eh? A guy with a sword. That's not a normal sight, I'll tell you that. I've caught something spectacular on my live stream. It's probably not. We're not even royals, Mum. We're... No, I know, but still. Don't get some people are. Over them. Some people are. Let me turn these round. <laughs> me, it's Prince Charles. No way, it was not. <laughs> no, it was not. I think it was. I'm still it saying was not that. Prince Charles. I think we caught Prince Charles on the deal. Ouch. Not. Ouch. Big muscle. Big muscle. God, well, me and you are crippled. Aye, right. How the hell did I get out here, Soph? I don't know, Mum. We'll just need to wing it. No, we'll just need to wing it. Right, let's wing it down this road. How the fuck did I get this in? Right. Right, we're going to I thought down. it was I thought it was awful busy with uh, like official folk the day. Aye. I was like, why is there all these army get usually there's only a couple where you The periphery where? These people don't realise we're behind them. Am I zoomed in? Um yeah. uh -huh. yeah, that better. Watch that wire, just never up to that woman. I'm watching her. Oh, thank you. I wasn't going to knock her down there, pal, you're alright. Uh -huh. Wait, there's all the army the things or the army what uh -huh. you call it? How the hell do you get out here? That's an Irish bus, I know. Have we got an air leg, good mum? How the hell do you get out? You're away the wrong way, mum. We need to go buy that thing, remember? What thing? That thing that we drove by when we came in. There. I don't know, is that a one way road or can I go down? I don't know. There is no other road, so. Definitely not a royal because the flag's not up. Is this the way you go? Yes, mum. It must be, there's no other road. Oh, we're doing it now. We're we doing it now, guys. I'm telling you, it no, was him. No, it wasn't. The flag's not up. I think the flag is up, actually. The flag isn't up. Not the royal flag. Yeah, that's a day then. That way. So we must be going to your left. Yeah. Oh, look at these wee streets, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Imagine you know, Ozzy. I know. Bloody Prince Charles. Oh, yeah. You were slagging the monarchy as well, Soph. I don't like them. I'm sorry, I don't like them. Well. If it was Prince Charles, I'm sorry, but boo, I don't like Prince Charles. Well, there you are. He's an arsehole. Well, so if everybody's got their own. Some people no, like I don't them. like Charles, and if you like Charles, I'm questioning you, because poor well, Diana. Well, this is true, poor Diana. Right, how the hell did you get out here? Right, I'm taking that I'm going to my, my right. Mm -hmm. Right, the only thing I do like about Prince Charles is that he does his own gardening. Does he do his own gardening? Yeah, he talks to his plants and all that. Oh, well, see. And everybody thought he was alone for doing that, but now everybody's starting to eat um, 
healthy, like homegrown stuff. Right, we're just going straight through the tune, aren't we? Don't know. Don't ask me. I don't have a clue. Just need to wing it. Oh, I won't just get it. Oh, nice wee shops here, eh? Look at them. Nice wee shops. It'll cost a fortune, probably. Aye, ah, they will. We'd be, be like I we'd be stunned looking in the window and somebody else would come out and task us mm -hmm. like that woman mind. Right, so there's no entry there, so we're going up the hill now. Mm. So that's us, we've been to Stirling Castle. I hope you've enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Mm. It was a shame about my soup though, but anyway, with the wee sandwich and with the carrot cake. Ah, the cake was really good. The cake was excellent. Expensive though, that. Um, Aye. That was eight quid, or what was it, nine quid or something for all my stuff. Aye, and it was, uh, mine was ten pounds something. But it's tourist prices, you see. Mm -hmm. I've still got half my sandwich. You do have it. I left half my sandwich because I was going to eat the, the carrot cake. Mm -hmm. This is why I don't look things up before I go because you don't know if they're going, they're going to have it. I know. Oh, but it was nice. I mean, the, and in the dot, as I say, I've got the video for you of us in the dungeon. Yeah. Imagine Prince Charles, are you guys? Mm. <laughs> Imaginary Imagine, Prince Charles. Aye. Imagine that. Discount Prince Charles. Yeah, I'd take you the day the Prince Charles is there, right? I'd push the shout, I'd Charlie. His name's probably Charles. It's like a Charles. I thought it was as well when you said that. There's Edinburgh Castle up there, that's where we were. Stirling Castle. Aye. Stirling Castle, my heat up There's that wee door that we were sitting in with the gas leak. Aye. Aye, that was some smell of gas, wasn't it? I know, and I'm sitting smoking this. I got a whiff it a few times. Sophie's a wee rebel, you're not meant to be vaping, but there you I are. I vape on the plane. Aye. And in the hospital, so... And we, we, we know you've eaten the hospital. I mean, aye, she said you try to blow the place up. Because mm. <laughs> I was on oxygen. <laughs> and they took it off me. I was like, you bastard. And I'm trying to get into the drawer to get it out. That's why they put down that I was a troublesome patient. Or a non-compliant patient, sorry. Angel cake to get a granny fix. Oh, guys, I'm going to try and make them laugh. 
He was laughing at his mummy. Now he knows he can do it, you see. That's where Peter's test centre is, just there. The theory test place. I think the ceilings in the castle were breathtaking. Oh, they really were, weren't they? Yep. Absolutely beautiful. And we got to do some throne ASMR. Mm -hmm. See? I should I should oh, clip that, I should clip that and just have it on my channel, throne ASMR. Be Queen of Scots is throne ASMR. I get my play button in the daytime, so oh. Well that or we met Prince Charles. <laughs> <laughs> That's no price to it. Uh, it is right, it is. I seen him. It was him. Old guy with a sword, Prince Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Old woman, Camilla. It wasn't Cam I knew it didn't look like Camilla, but it definitely did look like Prince Charles. I was like, my god. That was his wife, so. But we've got our own film, so we can watch it back and see who the hell it is. It's somebody of Porsche is not one of us normal folk, that's for sure. And all that security. It'll be the guy that does the cannon or something like that. Aye, he'll be the one that explodes the bloody thing. Mm -hmm. Not even know it was the Queen's birthday. Well, there you are. Funny how that worked out, eh? I can't get on the lion bit though, that, that, I never knew that, now come on, mm -hmm. a lion in Scotland and just to play with people, okay. I don't want to play with the lion so far, go in here kitty kitty, like that, I don't like that's been stuck anyway, Bye. that wee woman with her. Yes, I am Mary Queen of Scots. It's just a child. I feel like, listen, we're from Glasgow and you don't need gears on the pattern. <laughs> well, they're, they're not alive. They can get I know, sack. I know, they've got to stay in character, you see. I felt like, no, you never. I, I, that, that was all going through my head. Did she? I? No. I think she mentioned her wee cousin or something. Aye, she was mentioning her wee cousin. And Elizabeth? She was, aye. That's the one that chopped her head off eventually. That chopped down uh, Mary Queen of Scots' yep. head? She chopped Mary Queen's head off. She made her get her head chopped off. Oh, did she? She got her head her chopped off. Her cousin? Cousin Elizabeth. Oh, that's The nasty. Queen of England. Her queen? The Queen of England, Elizabeth, Henry VIII's daughter. Oh, right. Was Mary Queen of Scots' cousin. Right. And she cut her head off because Mary Queen of Scots wanted power in England and in Scotland. And oh, she well. said, no, you're not having that. I'm cutting your head off. See, we get taught none of our, our um, heritage in school. We knew nothing. Which is a shame. We don't actually blame Elizabeth for because Mary Queen of Scots was plotting to kill her. Ah, she's a bit of a woman then, eh? Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth didn't want to kill her because Elizabeth thought that killing a queen would make her go to hell. Oh. And she didn't believe in killing another queen. But she had to because if she didn't, then the Catholics were going to rise up and support Mary Queen of Scots and get Elizabeth's head chopped off. Oh God, see. So she had to. Her head chopping off men. Oh, she had to chop her head off. I know. See if it wasn't chopping heads off or feeding to the lions, it was a guilty. Right, she wasn't happy with it. She was not happy with it that she had to chop her cousin's head off because apparently they used to write love letters to each other. The loads, cousins. Yep, yeah, there's loads of oh. love letters between Mary Queen of Scots and. Uh, Queen Elizabeth the first. Oh, saying I see. love you more than anything in the world, my my dear sister, my border sister, and all that, my sister Queen. Love you so much. Here's a present and oh 
here's a present to you, my beautiful Mary, and all that, for years and years and years and years. And, years. Oh. and then See? when they fell out, Elizabeth felt really bad about having to cut her head off. Oh, that's a wee shame, then, eh? That's a wee shame. Really, but I know it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sad story, so it is. It's a sad story. There's a film about it, Mum. Margot Robbie's in it. She plays Elizabeth. I like Margot Robbie. And uh, Saoirse Ronan plays Mary Queen oh, of Scots. I'll need to watch it then. It's called Mary Queen of Scots, I think. Oh, I need to watch that then. That's a wee shame. They were crazy for killing folk though back then, weren't they? That's what they wanted to do with their time. They two didn't actually want to kill each other though, it was the advisors. It was uh, the main advisors to both of them. One see, of them was Catholic, one of them was Protestant, and they said if you don't kill her, she's going to have an uprising against you and she's going to kill you. So you better do it first. Uh, I and see. It made them really paranoid and all that. That'd be that sneaky jester then, eh? Yeah, kind of like that. sneaky jester. the most powerful women in the world at the time. And her saying Clayton as if I don't know that word. I be talk about Clayton all the time. <laughs> we still use it to this day. Clayton, stop Clayton. Well, grass and BC in Glasgow, but Clayton as well. It just means like a snitch. I mean, I thought that was a castle and it's like cement works or something. <laughs> <laughs> You think it's a castle? <laughs> no. Aye. Oh, there's a castle. Do you see the main... difference now between a castle and a church? Uh, well, aye, that's not a kirk. We've no. just been to that. was definitely not a kirk. Because mm. you said that to me last time. What's the difference? It's like well, one's like a loving place and one's <clears throat> just a church. Aye, so the chapel bit, that's like that's a church. A, yeah, that's, that's a kirk. A, that's a kirk there. Most of castles have churches in them. So they didn't move. It was like a wee town. I wasn't expecting that. Do you know aye, what I mean? That was like a. Towns. There was a wee town inside the castle yeah. that people would stay. Mm -hmm. So nobody had to move, nobody had to get leave the, the grounds. Some trek that having to go up the hill, do you know what I mean? Aye. Yeah, you wouldn't want to leave. No. And it wouldn't have been like good roads at Bell, like mud and stuff. It would have been the cobbles. So that's another adventure, so f Aye, another one done. I'm glad I went. Thank you, Golf for Girl again, because I've not been, as I say, since I was a wee girl. And I forgot all about it. I didn't realise it was so big, and the ceilings are absolutely outstanding. That's what, that's what my favourite part it was. Mm -hmm. You can tell me about your favourite part was. Mine's was looking at these ceilings. See, I love artwork. I love looking at people's art. Um, and that's somewhere I want to take Sophie as well. Um, I might need to build up my confidence just a tad more because I've got to go right through the city centre in Glasgow. I want to take these to the art museum. Yeah. And inside the art museum, there's dinosaur bones. There's the, I think they've actually got a full um, dinosaur skeleton. Um, and it's got beautiful art. And um, there's a, I've, I told you about this painting before. Oh God, the bizarre name I told you the other day, Sophie. The artist that painted the big Jesus. Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali. There's a beautiful painting that, that Salvador Dali done, and it's huge, and it's a picture of Jesus on the cross, right? And it's uh, it's just breathtaking. I just get chills when I look at it. And years and years ago, when I was a wee girl, you know how there's a lot of sectarianism in Glasgow with Celtic and Rangers and Catholics and Protestants. Well, somebody had went in and slashed this piece of artwork. It's just slashed it, just ruined it, but they've managed to restore it. And see, when you see it, you, you, would, you wouldn't know where it was restored. It's so perfect looking. It's, it's absolutely perfect. So, and there's other, there's other artists in there. I don't even know what other artwork they've got, but um, that's, going to be, that's going to be a nice one. But they've got all sorts of stuff in that museum. And again, I've not been there since I was a wee girl. I've not been there, but it was like a full day. I remember it was like a full day that we used to be spent just looking at stuff. And I find that fascinating. I, I really do find that fascinating. And art, I love looking at art. The only one I'm not keen on, I think it's Picasso, the, the one that's got all the big noses and stuff like that. Is it Picasso that's got all the weird... Yeah, cubism. Aye, I'm not really into that artwork. I love them. Um, I love uh, Da Vinci. No, Picasso is... 
Picasso? Who's the one that does all the like, weird... I think it is Picasso. Weird big know. eyes and stuff like that. Um, and it's like, it's like you, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like weird. But I love Da Vinci. I mean, the day I love my starry night and... I've yeah, got my son. Picasso, is Picasso, it Picasso eyes? Picasso's the one with the eyes. Like I had big eyes and big noses and all that, yeah. and I'm like, what the hell? But they were into the paint fumes, let's face it. Well, it's Cubism. Aye. They were, into, they were into all the paint fumes as well, Henry. They were all high as hell. I like abstract art. Um, no, but I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. I like more um, scenery and stuff like that. I like... I like Aye, I like that. And the guy that done the matchstick, the matchstick paintings, it was like matchstick cats and dogs and men and women. Um, I think that's actually in that art gallery, that one. And there was a wee song about that. He painted matchstick men and matchstick cats and dogs. <laughs> Can't mind his name now. But that would be, I think that would be nice for us as well to do. But I also want to do like the real like take us to Easter House in Glasgow where I grew up. There's a fire, Sophie, look, there's a fire in the distance, I can see smoke. Yeah, there's a farm there. So we're burning stuff. So, um, look, I'm enjoying just taking you out in the car, taking you a wee drive. It's great fun. It's good for us to get out. Yeah. And it's good for you to see um, a bit of Scotland and what it's like. But there you are, Prince Charles, guys. <laughs> Look, I'm sticking to that story, Soph. I'm sticking to that. I'm going to tell your granny. I'm going to say to your granny. Mum, you'll never guess who we've seen at Stirling Castle. I'm going to tell her. Tell her it's because it's Queen's birthday. It's Queen's birthday and Prince Charles was there, Mum. I've got probably have seen all the news that day. Aye. Aye. In London. I'm going to tell her that. And she'll be wondering how he's got to London to Scotland so quick. She might not know, she, but I'm sticking to that. That's a good story. I'm sticking to it. I'll probably be all over the news that it's her birthday, so. He might see us hobbling about. <laughs> he no. might see us hobbling about in the castle. Oh. Right, let's go after Hitler's birthday. Is it? See, I didn't know that. I'm no. Uh, I'm Hitler's birthday was yesterday. I see. I mean, I'm into. I'm into if the psyche finding the psyche, of, like serial killers and stuff like that. But Hitler's one, I've never even wanted to touch. Why? That's interesting. I don't know. I've never ever wanted to touch anything to do with him. I can watch Ted Bundy and all the rest of it, but Hitler, I just can't do. Same as the SS uniforms, I can't stand them, and I like oh, uniforms. I love them. I, I know that no. sounds really bad, but I do. I think they look. Great. I don't. I don't like the SS uniforms. I think they look fantastic. No. The Hugo Boss. Oh. No, I don't like and it. And that's so bad. I know, but. No, I don't like it. Oh, I do like it. I like astronauts gear. I like see if somebody's got a space suit on. I'm there. No, I think they dress fabulous. No. Scary though. I don't like the SS uniforms at all. And you know, I'm, I'm all for a uniform, but no. It's just something I've never wanted to touch was uh, anything to do with that. It's interesting. Aye, it is, but no for me. It's just something that I don't like. I don't even like. Well, nobody likes it, but... No. Everybody's forgot about that, that Hugo Boss designed their outfits. Everybody buys it up here for Is it no Hugo Boss that designs the Wimbledon gear or no? Uh -huh. It isn't it? Yeah. See, I'm no, uh, I've never, I've not got anything. And then your Phantom Mum was invented because they couldn't import cola into Nazi Germany. Oh, well, there you are. But I've, I don't own anything designer, there you go. What a wee shame, I'm broke bitch. Broke bitch. <laughs> Saying that, listen, see if you go down to the bar is you perfume? Well, apart from my perfume, yes. Makeup? See see if you go down to the bar is you can buy a Louis Vuitton for a fiver hen. <laughs> I don't have any either. You can go down and buy two Chanel purses, two for a pound. I think they're quite ugly, I don't know what Two why for a pound. Them. I'm a Chanel gal. I would if I was a millionaire I'd, I'd be decked out in Chanel. Chanel stuff. bags are nice. I love Chanel. Do you know who I'm not that keen on? Vivian West, Westwood. 
she designed Adamant's. See the Adamant's? It's clay. Aye, punk rock. Aye, she designed all that. I'm not really into her designs. Even the sex pistols and all that. Aye, the sex pistols. We used to have a bit in our shop. We'll go and get a cuddly this angel soft. Yeah, he better be wakened. He better be wakened. He might be. I was saying to her yesterday, I says I think that child sleeps all the time because every time my phone is lying in his bed, he's sleeping. He needs to. He needs to get up for his granny and his auntie's off. He likes to sleep. We need to, we need a cuddle. That's what we need. Mind me when I'm taking you so that that road's closed. Right. I'll need to take you the other way. It's turned out a really nice day. I'm going to get my chair out again. And Pierre cut all my grass for me yesterday, which oh. was a great, a great boy doing that for his mum. Yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good. These are all good. These are all angels. Last time I was camped right down, so thank God for that. Oh, it's okay. just because I ate something. That's what happens. I know, my darling. I wish I could take it. And I feel helpless. It goes, it's like really bad crap. Like it I know, just and there's, there's nothing really they can do. Do you know and what I mean? And it's like a, see, like a level nine pain. Like, aye, like you can't like, stand it. Kind of I know pain. you were thinking it hard to breathe. Yeah, aye. That's how it goes. Aye, I wouldn't have had that in camera anyway. That's, no, because that was bad. That was bad too. But you're okay now, and okay, then you've yeah. seen Prince Charles, and that brightened your day right up. Mm -hmm. I love him, he's Aye. great. Uh, that brightened your day right I can't up. Stand the man. Sophie? I cannot stand the man, I'm allowed to have opinions. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not a royalist, but you know, no. to let them do with They're all up day. to all sorts, I'll not mention what. Aye, the Princess Diana but thing, we that all broke know my what heart. They're up to. That broke my heart, the Princess Diana thing. I loved her. I really did. I thought she was excellent, and she was she was going to put when AIDS. Remember when AIDS all started? I hadn't folks had no that. I didn't care. Please. And she was told not to go near no, them. Don't touch them. Don't, don't touch, touch them. them. And she was sitting on their bed cuddling them. You know, she was just like she was just like a normal person. She was not into and see, she actually was in Cumbernauld. She came and opened her uh, sports centre. She opened the town centre in Kirkintock as well. Well, she opened the sports centre up there. And do you know what she had on? A pair of jeans and a white t-shirt. Yeah. That's what she had on. A pair of jeans and white t-shirt. None of this, like, dressing up to the eyeballs. Just a normal, beautiful, beautiful person. A beautiful person. That broke my bloody heart. That devastated me. I was... In fact, I have, I've got a book somewhere and i got a black rose and I pressed it in one of my books. You know what I mean? And I don't do stuff like that usually, but that, that go I think everybody was in shock with that. And the first thing I thought it was, they've done it. Yeah. That's the first thing I thought. They couldn't, they couldn't let her just live a, a happy life. They couldn't, they couldn't leave her alone. So. But a lot of people do like them, so if they like them, then that's, that's their prerogative. Everybody's entitled to like who they like. And Sophie loves Prince Charles. <laughs> Me find out who that guy was. When he zoom in on that dude's face, that wasn't a normal person. That was royalty right there. It wasn't royalty. It was royalty. It wasn't because they never said on their engagements it's not royalty. I'm telling you, somebody sneaked in then. Mm -mm. Somebody sneaked in. It wasn't royalty. It was just a guy that's like high up in the army or something. I'm going to find out who it is. I'm going to investigate. I was funny though, weren't I? <laughs> Sophie's fucking chipped the like, It's Prince Charles. Sophie's Prince Charles. I was, I was, I was funny. I thought you were sure about it. I know I'm going. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have listened. I, I, I'm telling Amanda. Tell Amanda that we've seen him. No. I. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to get my face right into Nikki this child and kiss 
and I'm going to go and blow it and see if I can get a wee giggle or two. That's what I'm going to do. Granny's going to do it. Granny's going to be the pest of hell that kisses all the time. I'm going to be the kissing, kissing machine, Granny. I'm not, because I've got a scarf cold, so. I'll kiss him for you then. He brightens up your day though, didn't he? It's beautiful. I mean, the other day when I was feeling really, really low, and um, just seeing his wee face, just seeing him, I'm kicking their bloody legs. Just, mm -hmm. how can you not smile like that? How can you not smile? He's a beautiful boy. He is a beautiful boy. Can't wait till he starts talking. We'll need to watch how we're, we're talking in front of him, though, that's the thing. Because we're going to say the odd sweary word, guys. Oh, we used to say things like that all the time, though, when we're, we were wee. We're, we're going to say the odd, the odd um, sweary thing, so we'll need to watch our language. Oh, Granny will need to watch her language. <laughs> Granny says this, you know, I'll be mortified. Granny says she loves the policemen. Do you know, I need to watch what I'm saying, guys. Granny's house on a Saturday afternoon, right? We don't do any of that. He doesn't need to know what happens in Granny's house on a Saturday afternoon. You all know what happens in Granny's house in the, af in the afternoon on a Saturday. We're losing connection. Now make it a happy can. That. <sighs> but that's what I'm seeing when, whenever they had a drink. That's what, what I'm like. I'm a lover. I love everyone. I want to hug everybody. Poor Johnny Depp, though. Listen, that man can leave his wallet in his car, for God's sake, Johnny. Just come to the bungalow. I'll keep you right. You know what I'm saying? Not even after the man's money. Keep your wallet in the car, Johnny. You can come in and talk as slow as he wants in my house. <laughs> I'll sit listening like that. Oh, hi, man, Aquaman. Yeah, that's a dream come true. Oh, one of my friends sent me a wee thing saying, Jason Momoa has now followed um, Johnny Depp on Instagram or something like that. Right guys, thank you so much for coming in and um, spending this time with us. We've loved every second of it. Thank you Golfer Girl and thank you um, Green Rose for your very kind donations to make this trip happen for us. And I will be back tomorrow, right, so if you want to end the stream for me. And I love you all very, very much. Bye. Have a wonderful day.